Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be continuing uh, another uh, edition of our like budget, mid-budget, no-budget Bruce. Um, so the whole point of this series is to take a budget deck, which is basically all commons and uncommons, or free cards you get in the starter decks, minus the dual lands, so like the shock lands and check lands. Um, and then from there, add about five to 10 rares or mythics for a mid-budget version, and then show like a progression towards a non-budget version. This is basically in place as like a guide to help newer players, or people as just, just accumulating their collection build towards decks while playing something in the interim. Um, we've done this for a number of decks. We've done black-white aristocrats. Uh, we've done blue-black control, like the Kefnet build. We did a Sahili build for Is It Drake's Phoenix. Uh, recently, I did a Gruel build that built into a Gruel mid-range list. Um, and then after each build on the uh, Arena subreddit, I'll put together like a write-up, kind of explain the thoughts in more details, and then answer any questions you'd have there as well. So for today, we're going to be playing a green-black explore deck, or a rock deck as they're typically referred to in modern. Um, the core of this deck is going to be building around the Explore package that you frequently see in a lot of green, black, or uh, Sultai, so green, black, blue builds. So it's basically played around three cards, which is typically referred to as the Explore package. You have Wild Growth Walker, which every time you explore, you put a 1-1 one -one counter on it and gain three life. This is usually played with Merfolk Branch Walker, as well as Jade Light Ranger, which will feature not in this version, but in the uh, mid-budget version. Uh, in this place, we're playing Seeker's Squire. Um, so it's another two-drop explorer creature. Explorers, basically, you look at the top card of your library. If it's a land, you put it in your hand. If not, you can choose whether or not to keep it on top of your library and put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Uh, from there, we have our Accelerant in Land of War Elves. Uh, we have some Disruption in the form of Duress. This is what you'd see in Modern as usually Thought Seize or Inquisition of Kozilek. We have our Removal in terms of Cast Down. And then we also have the three Ravenous Chupacabras and two Eldest Reborn as Removal. And then we have our Disruption Spells again. So we have reoccurring value. We don't get any of the Vraskas. We don't get the Vivians, unfortunately, in this build. But what we're playing is a combination of Davriel, which will eat away at the opponent's hand uh, in conjunction with Duress, hopefully. Uh, Vraska Swarms Intelligence, which we can use uh, to create 1-1s one -ones with Death Touch that could trade with bigger creatures, but also as a way of pseudo-removal of Planeswalkers. We have a Nixless, which taxes card drawing as well as can serve as removal if need be, or in a pinch, draw us cards. Um, and then finally, we have the one free Carnage Tyrant that we get. This is a way for us to kind of close out the game. In terms of the mana base, we have two Memorial to Follies. Um, I'm actually missing a couple Woodland Cemeteries, so this is a good way to see just uh, in, in place it would be a more budget version. Um, but ideally, you'd want to play the full uh for overgrown tombs for woodland cemeteries. In the sideboard, um, again, because we're using some budget considerations, we're missing, uh, I forget the name of it right now. Uh, let's pull it up. It's uh, this one. Uh, so like uh, Fine Finality is another card you see frequently in these lists, especially the green-black versions. You can play Assassin's Trophy afterwards. Uh, big Vraska, Little Vraska, so there's options there. Uh, but in for, terms of our sideboard, we have Kite Cell Freebooter as another Duress style effect that can attack. Against the aggro decks, you have Moments of Craving. Against Flyers like Drakes or Phoenix, you have Crawl Harpooner against Mono Blue as well. Uh, this is to get rid of Rekindling Phoenix primarily. Play Crafters against uh, some of the Planeswalker heavy decks. We don't have Vraska's Contempt, so this is a way to kind of force them to sack. Brontodon to blow up enchantments or artifacts, and another Eldest Reborn to deal with Planeswalkers, and to kind of revive our own as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to play it through a couple rounds of best of one, uh, best of three, and then we'll play it through uh, one match, uh, one or two matches of best of one at the end. We'll see how grindy these games go. Uh, Green Black tends to be that way. Um, just so people can see. So if you want to see the best of one variation of the deck, uh, just fast forward a bit and you can see it there. 
So as we get started, if you haven't done so already, um, subscribing is a free and easy way to support the channel. I'm trying to get videos up almost every day, uh, but usually we'll have anywhere in the realm of three to seven videos a week, uh, playing a variety of budget, uh, janky, fun combo E decks, or uh, tier one decks. So we'll play everything in between. Um, but uh, subscribing is a free and easy way to kind of help keeping the channel going and showing your support. So we're missing black, but with the Merfolk Branch Walker and Wild Growth, we'll probably keep. Especially on the play. Okay, so... You see the black source there. May opt to go Davriel if this is like a Grixis build. Okay, so we want to start eating away at their hand here. We can play one of these, hopefully draw into land. So we got rid of a Nickel Bolas, which is good. They might have another Angrath Sant Rampage. It's pretty aggressive on the opponent's side. Uh, I'm going to Branch Walker first. Uh, here... I think we can Graveyard this for now. Uh, let's see what they discard, and then just get them to dis- uh, another Nicol Bolas. Uh, we can get rid of- yeah, an opponent concedes. So just really tearing apart the opponent's hand there. So against control, uh, oh, opponent just does not want to play us. Which is actually really funny, because that Grixis is one of the most expensive decks in terms of just mana. All right, super uncommon version takes down uh, one of the the big boys. So probably for the uh, non-budget version, we'll probably splash a third color in this variation. Um, usually you see these as salt eye lists. Uh, so that's splashing the blue. Uh, so here we'll play first elf. Yeah, I like that. Gives us the most flexibility. Uh, yeah, let's do that. This way we can play both Wild Growth and Seeker Squire in the same turn. So Hostage Taker, so this might be... We'll see what they take here. They get rid of the Wild Growth Walker. So give them the least amount of information at first. Nickel Bolas. I wonder if this is the same opponent. Uh, so here... You know, we probably should have waited to see if we drew the land. Yeah, we could have played that tapped. Um... Here, we'll just attack for one. So would have liked to get an extra toughness there. Uh, here, we'll just set up the Memorial to Folly. Want to keep Davriel going. Narset's a bit unfortunate because it helps him refill their hand. And search for a Scanta. Carnage Tyrant will be good in a turn. So we're not really drawing cards with this deck, so this just being a static ability doesn't really... That's nasty. So we'll get rid of the cast down. So here we'll just play out. They can't target it with Nico Bolas. I'm gonna keep this around in case they have a force sack effect. 
Uh, here, I'm just gonna get rid of probably a mountain or uh, swamp. Schemes have been foiled. My intellect is without limit. Merfolk Branchwalker could either draw us another land or set us up. So they're a couple turns off the search. We can attack into Nickel Bolas this turn. Okay, so that does keep Nico Bolas alive a turn. It's important to get that off the battlefield. Uh, I'm gonna graveyard the Chupacabra. Uh, they're not threatening our life total, so I want to be able to... In a pinch, if they have a way to get rid of Carnage Tyrant and bring it back. Search is also live for them. I have other schemes we'll get rid of the forest. Schemes are never ending. Esper really doesn't have a... Or a Grixis has a really hard time dealing with Carnage Tyrant. So we gotta be aware that Ugin's coming down next turn. So we opted to not bring it back there. So we could chip into the opponent. I have other plans. I'm gonna hold the Woodland Cemetery in hand here. Okay, the devil's fine. Ugin's just going to make chump blockers. So we'll attack into Ugin here. It's going to die. So I'm going to do this now. Gonna get back the Merfolk Branch Walker. Just play it this turn. I just wanna kinda smooth out the next few draws. Uh yeah, it just helps us draw a bit more into the deck. It's fine, they're wasting kind of meaningless removal. I want to always have a body to get around a sack effect. Wonder what's under uh, the spirit here. Narset into Narset. Opponents really dig in here. Lava coil. Just gonna go after the opponent here. Uh, we'll graveyard the chupacabra. Past turn. I don't really get much utility playing this line. Carnage Tyrant's the top of our curve. Ritual Assert doesn't do anything. Okay, so they have the Angras Rampage. So now we're in a little bit of a bad spot. We are trying to keep out the two creatures. Oh, now we're in a very bad spot. We'll see what we draw. If we don't draw something this turn, then we're just going to see. Yeah. This is just where we get out grinded. So in this matchup, uh, Eldest Reborn's good. Plague Crafters can be good. 
Uh, they're showing both Cry and Ritual Asset. Probably don't want the Chupacabras. Or maybe... Probably... Just go down that. So they have Nickel Bolas most... Uh, they might, but they'll have Thief of Sanity, so we'll bring these in versus a Thief. And then maybe... Cut some Elves, because they're a bad draw. Like, this is rough against... It's kind of disruption. Do it like that. It's slower for us to get, but they've shown both Cry and Ritual of Soot in the main board. Just don't want to draw like an elf as a late game. <sighs> we go first on the... we don't get the draw. I'm gonna mulligan this. Okay, sounds a lot better. So I'm gonna go, I wish, see this is the one time this guild gates kind of bit us. If this was any other of our dual lands, we would have been fine to duress on one, branch walker on two. Ah, uh, Seeker Squire, I don't want, I want lands. So I probably want the early pressure right now. Uh, we'll graveyard that. Okay, so... I'm gonna Brontodon here and then double duress them. Because this gives us a pressure, they're not gonna hit Ritual until turn 3. And we can pretty much disrupt their hand for now. Seeing a lot more decks play Bedeck Bedevil. It's pretty useful. Okay, so they have the Lava Coil there, so a bit punished. Let's see what the opponent's got. Uh, so... That's pretty terrifying. Get rid of the Narset here. So I'm gonna hold this. They're gonna play Nicol Bolas this turn. Oh, they go hostage taker. Okay, in that case. I hate doing this. Giving them cards. But I think we gotta just try to erase them like that. They'll take another damage. And here they either have to take a turn off Nico Bolas to bedevil it. Yeah. So we get in another two points of damage. They take our duress. They will flip a Scanta next turn. Uh, so they had that. We're probably dead. Eldest Reborn would be really good here. Play Crafter. Not Seeker Squire. Get rid of that. So here they can attack in and then flip Nicol Bolas. 
Ah, they opt to not flip it. Oh, Ashiok. It's fine, I'd probably still rather... Ashiok mills us another four. Actually, we should probably see what they hit. Crawl Harpooner would have been good. Because this gets around an Eldest Reborn sack as well. They just... You remember your nightmares remain. So here they're just setting up their next draw. Jeez. Just go in this turn. A little too real for me. This just kind of shuts them off. Okay, so Plague Crafters are still alive. Crawl Harpooner. Also terrifying. I'm being very conservative with the Nico Bolas. Yeah, I'm just going to call it quits here. So I'm going to do a couple best of ones, just so you can see the deck like that. One thing I want to do is just try to keep the videos around 30-ish minutes. Um, these matchups typically go pretty long. We've played effectively three best of threes versus Grixis. And we'll play a couple best of ones. Inherently, this deck's pretty good against mono red, just with the explore package main. Grixis tends to have a lot of removal and powerful spells. So if we don't kind of align our discard in time. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with this. Try to turbo out a Carnage Tyrant. So next turn, I'm likely gonna just go Branch Walker and then play Memorial. And all we're playing is like Grixis and Esper today. Two, three, four. So we go Seeker Squire next turn. Ah, there goes Carnage Tyrant. It's not terrible because we can Eldest Reborn. Oh, they take the Eldest Reborn. It's interesting. So let's lead with Seeker Squire. We're really, really weak if they have a Cryo Carnarium, so I'm going to opt to not. If we had this at uh, 3 toughness, we would have done it to at least have a threat afterwards. Do they have it? Ah, double thought erasure. At least we could get it back with Memorial to Folly. At this point, I want a Planeswalker. Next turn, we'll sack Memorial. I'm probably going to hold off on sacking Memorial, to be honest, until we can get... Ah, uh, and they got Cryocarnarium. So, because they have Cry, we're just going to attack with everything. Obviously, that's really bad, but we'll just not play out anything more and get Carnage Tyrant back. We do go down to lands. So 
So we're not going to be able to cast it this turn. That's insulation if they have another discard. Let's keep that on top. This also gets around future cry carnariums. So no thought erasure, no thought erasure. Chase. Okay, so they put a Seeker Squire and Vraska in the yard. Uh, I'm just gonna go after the opponent here. Even if they kill the Seeker Squire, they're on a one turn clock. So they need basically a removal and a sack effect. Or that kind of keeps him alive another turn. So we go after the opponent here. So here, I think we just get back a Seeker Squire. The reason being, Davriel's not going to really do much with an active Jace. Alright, let's just play this out. Probably just gets rid of a land. Part of the reason not to do that is because it turns on if they have another enter the God Eternal. Okay, our folk branch rocker is not bad. Like they're giving us choice. So I'm going to get back the branch rocker. Just do this now. We're at 33 cards in library. What did they exile? Uh, just have a bunch of chupacabras and stuff. Here, let's take him off. I don't think you'll be needing that. So we're just gonna attack in. This is where Carnage Tyrant's just so good. Then we wild growth, make this two power. Just have a lot of okay, thought collapse. That's fine. Branch Walker. Since they're milling us, we're probably gonna keep it on top anyways. I'll keep this on top. They're gonna use the Ashiok. So they have to find a way to kill us this turn. It's just blue black mill. That's fine, it's just into the elves. Ashiok will mill us another four. Hogger doesn't do enough. They need three augers to survive. Still doesn't do enough. Yeah, an opponent concedes. So we took played a couple games against Grixis. We played against uh, in best of one. You kind of got a feel for the deck. Um, I'm going to feature a little bit longer on the mid-budget ones, and then I think that's like kind of the concession point where a lot of people will play some kind of 
you're going to open cards here and there from packs and that's where really we can have the most fun and then have a little bit more flexibility um this version it's a little bit slower than some of the aggro ones i think i feel like just having jade light ranger is a big plus there getting that on turn two sometimes just wins games with an elf and then just having a couple of raskas in there and a couple of raskas contempt just really kind of make the deck a lot better anyways thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, drop it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, uh, subscribing is a free and easy way to help out the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great one.